there is something to be said about just slowing down and enjoying the simple things. Hello, Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I saw the picture on on Instagram of you leaving home in pink rubber gloves and a mask with your shopping trolley. How are you coping with the confinement? Honestly, I can't complain. One of my friends said, as long as my family is safe and in good health, as long as I don't get any health problems, there's really not so much to complain about. And I guess that's the good way to go about it. Have you found that having a daily routine helps? I have had quite a regular agenda. I speak to a different person of my team every day of the week, whether it's knitwear or tailoring or leather or accessories or shoes or whatever. I get my sports routine every day in the morning. And so what is your sports routine out of curiosity? Well, it really depends on the weather. If it's raining, I'm running up and down my staircase, which is six floors high, and which is quite an adrenaline shock. That's Paris. Um, Yes. Thank you, Paris, for those nice staircases. (laughs) Uh, And when the weather is nice, uh, I go for a run outside. And how has being confined at home impacted your creativity and approach to designing the collections? I miss talking to my teams face to face because I have always really much appreciated the human side of working with people working with the team and so obviously that's been really weird and working through screens has also proven to be way more work intensive on my side and with all your experience how do you think the crisis will impact the industry in terms of the shows and the way we present the collections will it trigger a a major rethink i honestly think can be quite nice not to be an automatical pilot it's just that right now there's a lot of unknown stuff so that's a bit much to handle but rethinking the whole scenario is not necessarily a bad thing no because it's going to call for more creativity right in terms of how we go about presenting collections oh yeah and it's not just about your creative team having to be creative it's all divisions of the brand Mm. need to be creative because everything we strongly believed in is now put in question so it's about reinventing the whole thing as a company and then what about music what are you listening to at the moment the easy stuff the new weekend album the new justin bieber album easy going i mean it's a moment to try and keep things as light as we can and what about like social media do you find it helps bring a a sense of community being very active on instagram etc well i do think it's a nice way to keep some sort of a normality which sounds totally outrageous i guess But, I mean, the social media has become so much part of the daily routine when we work that the fact that that goes on and that you do keep a certain contact with the outside world, I do think it has been helpful. Do you think this crisis has changed your values and your priorities? It's definitely been quite nice to slow down, even though I find that everything takes 10 times more time to do. It has obliged me to focus and to really concentrate on what is really the priority, what I actually really want to develop, what's more important than other stuff. So it has been a big moment of editing and focusing. And before we hang up, do you have any message you'd like to share? It's a moment where we all have to slow down a little and just appreciate whether it's the roses on the terrace, whether it's helping out an old lady at the store. I mean, there is something to be said about just slowing down and enjoying the simple things. It's about editing that too, in a way, going back to what really matters. Thank you so much for your time. It was so great catching up with you. Well, thank you. Nice to talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.